What if I told you you didn't have to make metal plates by hand ever again, or that there's an automatic way to smith iron blooms? Well, there's a new cool kid in town, and the name is Helvhammer. What the hell is that, you ask? Let me show you. Hi, it's Drax. This is the part at the beginning of the video that everyone skips. For those of you that didn't jump forward, enjoy watching and listening. Might you consider supporting me further by visiting my Ko-fi or clicking on the join button on this video? All right, that's it. Back to the video. The Helf Hammer, which I think could use some rebranding on the name, is used in Vintage Story to automate the smithing process. The hammer is powered by the windmill, and I just happen to have a video on how to make windmills. Link at the top of the page. The Helf Hammer is a mid-game ad, as you'll at least need to be in the copper age. I always wait way too long to bring this incredible useful tool online. No more waiting. Let's build a Helf Hammer. Remember, the Helf Hammer cannot be used without wind power. So, no hammering by hand. I wish this wasn't the case, though. I think some kind of hand cranked at a slower speed would just be fun. Here's a list of all the materials and parts you'll need to bring the Helf Hammer to life. You will also need an anvil. I usually start with copper or bronze and work my way up to iron. I typically construct my health hammer below the windmill for ease of connection, but this is completely up to you. Let's start with the hammerhead. You'll need one health hammer head, which can be made in either bronze or iron. Today I'll be using bronze. I've already done the hard work here and have the hammerhead ready to go. Now we'll combine the head with eight boards of any wood type in the crafting grid, all set. All right, now we need a base and a toggle. I always build the base and forget all about the toggle, and then I'm scratching my head like, why isn't this thing working? Don't pull a Drax. The base takes two materials, and you'll use the hammer and chisel as well. Insert three boards and one resin into the crafting grid as shown. The hammer and the chisel will not be consumed in the crafting process. You can use them again. The toggle has four materials. You'll use your trusty hammer and chisel again. Insert four resin, eight boards, one wooden axle, and one piece of fat. And just like with the base, the chisel and the hammer are not consumed and will live to work another day. All right, now we're ready to use the helve hammer. Place the base, and then the toggle, and then the hammer head on top. Grab your anvil and place it under the hammer head. We're all done. Now it's time to connect it to the windmill. We'll use a wooden axle and an angled gear. As long as there's some wind, which we have, we can watch the health hammer come to life. Now this is a fine setup and will work perfectly. However, let's say you don't want to have the health hammer running all the time. This noise can be a bit grating, especially if it's close to where you sleep. These next three parts are optional, but I think are a must. To stop the health hammer from working when not in use, you'll need either a brake or a transmission and clutch. Now, almost everyone says the brake is pointless, but I don't agree. It has its uses. Let's build all three and then I'll show you how they work. The brake is easy to construct. One log, a wooden axle, and two resin. You use your hammer and chisel to craft as seen here. Yep, the hammer and the chisel are not consumed. To craft the transmission, we'll use the hammer, the chisel, and the saw this time. All three of those will live another day. Add eight boards, two angled gears, two resin, and one piece of fat, and you have yourself a transmission. The clutch uses the hammer, the chisel, and the saw as well. Eight boards, one log, eight sticks, everything takes sticks, two resin, and two pieces of fat. Now you see why you always need to be collecting resin? The brake setup is simple. Instead of connecting the axle directly to the toggle, you put a brake in between. This will allow you to shut off the health hammer and it will stop the windmill altogether. It's effective, but I think the reason most people don't like it is twofold. One, it stops the windmill and everybody loves to see the thing up there spinning around. And two, it stops you from powering something else you have connected to the windmill. Maybe you have a pulverizer or a couple kirins. This option, it's limited. The transmission and clutch method gives you a lot more flexibility and is everyone's go-to. To install, you'll need to put the transmission between the toggle and the windmill power. You will then place the clutch in front, as seen here. The clutch can now be switched on and off. Now you can control power to individual machines throughout your smithy. The Helf Hammer is one of the few pieces of automation in Vintage Story, and I love it. Making metal plates has never been so easy. Having the Helf Hammers do the work as you focus on other tasks is so nice. 
Share your Hellhammer tips with me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. The video's over. Now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.